Hi guys, welcome back. Let's do a review now of lesson 28 together. Now, this lesson is a great pretext for me to do a pronunciation exercise with you. I would like us to practice, exaggerate the ED endings, and then we'll run through the vocabulary of today's text, which is mainly adjectives, before doing a grammar review together um, and practice the verb to be in the simple past. So let's start off with the ED endings. As you may already know, we have three different options to choose from. Is my ED pronounced D, T or ID? Let's find out with today's examples. Repeat after me. Confused. Learned. Listened. Memorized. Now let's look at examples of ED endings pronounced T. Repeat after me. Pronounced. Practiced. Looked. Worked. Hoped. Now third and last option, the ED ending pronounced ID. Repeat after me. Wanted. Added, accepted. Now let's run through the adjectives of today's text. Do not hesitate to transcribe the words phonetically. If you are hesitating very slightly or if you confuse certain words, this is a fantastic way of ensuring that you are pronouncing words in a way that can be understood. So repeat after me. Happy. Confused, receptive, busy, free, easy, intermediate. Now let's do the grammar review together. Here on my screen, as always, you will have examples that will appear. Please take your time, read the example and complete it with the missing form of the verb to be in the simple past. So this will be quite a quick grammar review, but let's do it anyway. She was French, wasn't she? They were English, weren't they? It was on for two hours. They were here for an hour. When I was 21, when they were teenagers, when we were in France, when they were in Germany. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's recap video as well as your lesson. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.